Hey everybody, this is Lavella again. Uh, so you guys aren't going to notice, but it has been forever since I've played. Uh, I haven't uploaded anything for a while, just uh, for school purposes. I've been, you know, full-time student, blah blah blah, you know the drill. Uh, but finally, it's, um, I have time to actually play, and I'm going to be playing a lot. And instead of me babbling, let's just get into this. Is that where I was? Okay. So I already played this one? I did. It's been so long I forgot <laughs> what I, uh, what I've done. Alright, let's, uh... I do remember some things, like, because it's been so long, and I remember being in an alley, and... If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? The old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Now I remember everything. Okay, I'm glad they do that because I totally forgot. We've been having a hard time. We haven't noticed. Point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. Mm. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Oh, Please, gosh. Bigby, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh, you what? You want me to set my arm? Oh, <laughs> oh I missed this game. Oh gosh. Did I miss it? Did I hit the wrong button? <laughs> Do, I suppose. Oh, I guess. <laughs> He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. 
Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This... <sighs> is the job. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, oh my we'd gosh. appreciate the headroom. Oh, I didn't mean to. Uh, I prefer you don't watch this anyway. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. I want her to stay when the doctor's like, no. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. With what? Your hooves? Hey, listen. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me, and, well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Oh. Miss White, he'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please... Don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him. Please. I will. You have friends, baby. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'm right here, guys. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? Who exactly is he? From the fairy tales? <laughs> so, how do you, um, feel? Hmm, <laughs> like crap. It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Well, <laughs> I've seen him take worse. Not much worse. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. I'm glad you're not dead. Aww. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried, and even he thought you were... I don't know. It was just... awful. You were really worried about me? Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. <laughs> you look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Leave Colin. it to Colin. I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. We'll all get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. <laughs> so he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... Yeah... Uh... <laughs> Thanks, Snow, for all that back there. 
build no the problem. romance. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Oh, of course, Colin. Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. You weren't there, Colin. So just drop it. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? Oh. Crane was a puppet. And the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Look. I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. <laughs> Should've gone on the other one, dang it. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book. No. Straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This that town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. Well, it's we gonna... need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? <laughs> Even well, I Well, if that's the case, cringe at please that. explain to Colin why ripping Gren's arm off was necessary. Uh, I can admit that it went too far. Well, that's a good first step. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. For being someone He'll get the asked. job done. <laughs> Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. Oh, man. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Excuse you, Snow White. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the oh, end of the God. world. That's not gonna happen. We're not gonna yes, send him to a will. farm. No! It's an impossible rule to enforce, Snow. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. I thought that was my phone. I was like, oh God, he's calling. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. You can't... Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Y'all don't... Stop talking. Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? 
Ah, uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. Oh, shut she up, knows Colin. something. <laughs> She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider that, the discussion tabled, but not over. That beeping is my. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, my... aye, Captain. Washer. Sorry. If you She's that. a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? No, I'm not gonna send you to the farm. I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Shut up, Washer. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. I like you, Colin. I really do. Just don't get caught. Gosh, if you get caught, then we're all screwed. There's a lot of noises going on right now. The heat's kicking in. My washer's going off. Snow. We're also known as Schneewittchen to the Germans. Um... <laughs> that scared me. It's like, why is it suddenly starting over? I love this music. It's just one jam. Come on, everyone dance. Sheep's clothing. Hi, Nerissa. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Nerissa. Wonderful to see you again, my dear. Have a seat. Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around if I came by. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <laughs> God. I'm okay. <laughs> I love you, Bigby. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. You smoke a shore it? The hell is that? Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. Huh. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do.
Is this making any sense? Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... Oh! I don't have any left. She may be the next one. So I hope you're looking after yours. Oh, um... Are you? Look around you. It's my job to look out for people. And not just my friends. Maybe not. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm... sorry if I'm wasting your time. No. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one, too. Do you like it? <gasps> hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Snow. <laughs> that smile. Listen, <laughs> Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. Please. What are you worried about? Just please don't say anything. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Go Beauty on. and Beast called the office just now. Oh, they said they wanted to talk to you about something. Well, I kind of know what I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. But wait, uh -huh. you don't have to go. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. We what did she tell you? We can't talk about it, Sam. I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay, then. Good work. I... So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's <laughs> something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're... scared about what's been going on? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I'd better go check it out. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. About? She was looking for... financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. 
We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Really? Okay. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna stop it there <laughs> I guess it's been like 24 25 minutes um, okay uh, I hope that y'all enjoyed this I mean you know we're finally getting back into the whole getting back into it I don't know you know it, I may uh, God, it's it's messed up <laughs> of how much I haven't played and how long it's been and I uh, it's so ridiculous Anyways, I hope that y'all enjoy this. You know, if you're still sticking around and watching my stuff, thank you so much. Thank you for your support. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, and I hope that you're enjoying this. You know, I'm trying to get some words in, but, like, they keep talking, and I'm just like, God, <laughs> I can't say anything. I don't want to interrupt it. I don't want to interrupt the storyline. I want you guys to hear everything they have to say and, you know, enjoy the experience as well. Uh, so, yeah, that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Um... Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and do the next episode. <laughs> or part. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much, you guys. You guys are freaking amazing. Um, and yeah, y'all have a, a great day, a great evening. Uh, yeah. And if you heard that, that was my kitty. Anyways. Alright, thanks guys. See y'all later. <laughs>